Not all price tags tell the full story, especially when it comes to electricity. While levelized cost of electricity gives a simple snapshot of generation costs, it misses the hidden expenses needed to keep the grid running smoothly. That's where levelized full system cost of electricity comes in, painting a more complete picture of what it really takes to deliver reliable power. The key difference between levelized cost and levelized full system cost lies in how comprehensively they assess the true cost of generating power. Levelized cost focuses solely on the direct cost of electricity production, similar to considering only the sticker price of a car while ignoring things like maintenance, insurance, and fuel. Levelized full system cost, however, provides a more complete picture by factoring in additional costs necessary for maintaining a stable and reliable power system. This is particularly important for intermittent sources like wind and solar, where levelized full system cost accounts for expenses that levelized cost overlooks, such as energy storage for low periods of generation and grid integration costs. By explicitly accounting for the cost of intermittency, levelized full system cost helps estimate the value of generated power at different stages of an energy transition. To illustrate the difference, imagine a 100 mile journey. The first 90 miles cost just $10, representing levelized cost. But the last, more challenging 10 miles adds an unexpected $90. When you add them together, you get levelized full system cost. A variation called levelized full system cost 95 assumes that 5% of electricity can come from always available sources like nuclear or hydropower, which helps lower overall system costs. This can be further adjusted. For example, to levelized full system cost 90 or another level to calculate more precise cost estimates based on different energy mix scenarios. While wind and solar may seem cheaper when judged by levelized cost alone, their true cost, reflected in levelized full system cost, can be significantly higher due to the additional infrastructure required to ensure consistent and reliable power delivery. By considering the full system cost, we get a clearer picture of what it really takes to power the future.